Good morning guys, today is Sunday morning, um, it, we've still got a full, full day here in London but we are heading home so we're all packed up here in the Premier Inn. It's been a comfortable stay, I've not slept well but that's an issue for uh, me not sleeping well anyway for the last week or so. We are all dressed up, it's Halloween, ha <laughs> ha happy Halloween everyone. Let me show you my outfit and then I'll show you Harry's. So for once I've got outfit of the day, I don't normally do this but I want to show you what I have got. So, here I have got a lovely bow that I got from Reuse Family Crafted. How cute is that one? Then I've got a fabulous t-shirt here, which is Haunted Mansion again, which is from Diz Tea World. I've got jeans and I invested in some really cute boots. And I've got Martins, so I am in love with these. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the face? Some nice face paints there. Um, happy Halloween, but let's show you Harry. Come over here, Harry. Let's show you what he looks. Oh, that's a bit zoomed in. Apologies. He's going full out skeleton today. He's got his face paint on. <gasps> Did I say you could get a tattoo? Uh... No. <laughs> Sit still, stand still. And he's looking like a skeleton this morning. Happy Halloween. So we are heading off to Madden Two Swords this morning. We've got what's into the Science Museum this afternoon. Not sure about that yet. And then we have got reservation for lunch this afternoon at four o'clock. Um, the pub is around the corner from the Premier Inn, so we're leaving our bags here this morning. And then we are coming back here to collect the bags, but it's the pub's just around the corner. So that should be good. And the train's not till about seven o'clock this afternoon. It's evening. Evening? Evening. Okay. So we will catch you in a bit. Another day, another underground station. I'm getting used to this. I could do city life.
this bozo. Don't like him very much. Mine's his hands. I love how Harry loves this Prime Minister rather than that Prime Minister. Good lad. Now this one I like. I've already flown the Millennium Falcon. Oh yeah. Master, Master Yoda. Run, Harry, run! <laughs> Hello, BB-8. There's a shop. What have you found? Protect that snack. That's a cool Funko Pop, Harry. Now this one's my favourite t-shirt. I love this original Star Wars t-shirt. And they're only £22. Not bad, really. So we have just found finished in Madden Two Swords. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. It was certainly very different. I'm not sure whether I'd run back to do it again. But it was so, so super busy in there. There yeah. were like far too many people in. It wasn't really as enjoyable as it should have been, I think, but just because of how busy it was. Yeah, at the start of it, it was busy, then it got quieter. Yeah. yeah, parts of it were quieter, parts of it were just, the start was just crazy. Yeah. Um, whether it gets less busy throughout the day, I don't know. And everyone seemed to turn up at 10 o'clock when it was really rainy and wet outside. Yeah. But I don't know. But sort of, what was your favourite character? Star Wars yeah. ones are pretty cool, yeah. weren't they? BB-8. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like meeting the Queen. Did you? Yeah, it's nice meeting the Queen. Um, but would I rush back? I'm not sure I would. And I definitely don't think I'd pay for it. I'm glad I've got the Merlin passes, that's for sure. Yeah. Not sure what we're doing now. Any ideas? Whatever it is, we'll take you with us. So we've left Baden Two Swords and just having a wander through Green Park. Because you can't come and visit London without visiting Buckingham Palace. You can just about see the big gates through the trees. Wonder if Lizzie's at home. I'm not sure she is. And here we are at Buckingham Palace. It's so impressive. Massive gates. Every time I come to London, I just have to visit. I'm not quite sure why. I am kind of drawn to it. So she's not currently home. The Royal Standard's not out, so Lizzie isn't home right now. Thought she might invite me in for a cup of tea, but maybe not. The strangest thing ever, one time we came here, we got to see the whole Royal Family on the balcony and sang happy birthday to the Queen. That's one of the strangest things I have ever done. So down here is the Mall, and last time I was down here, I was finishing the London Marathon. That's cool, isn't it? Yes. And I'll be coming back again in up. October next year to finish it. And there is a statue of Queen Victoria.
So we've just come into the Science Museum and we're just stopped for afternoon tea. Again. <laughs> what have you got? Mr. Skeleton? Um, chocolate. Yeah, we've got carrot cake, more chocolate, a cup of tea, and a scone. Let's dig in. So we have just come into the Science Museum and we've started off on the third floor in the Fly Zone. Crazy Grandad is quite excited about this. So this looks like a Red Arrow's experience simulator experience, which I assume you have to pay for. Pretty crazy, really, the evolution of flight, how it started like that and ended up how we travel across to Orlando. Pretty crazy. is really really cool. Emily's not very impressed, Harry not so much but I think it is awesome. So this is a cut through of a 747. So up here is premium economy, it's right at the front and we have got the middle cross section here and then the cargo section here. It is phenomenal. That is just, uh, yeah, I absolutely love that. But seeing how thin the actual aircraft wall is itself. So all my bags to go see Mickey would be in there. It's like the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. Oh, you chitty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, we love you. It's crazy to think how far cars have come. So we've just come into the medicine and community section quite interesting really but very very scary medical isolation I'm so glad technology and science has come along a lot we have already made history already the COVID-19 pandemic is actually in the museum it's quite scary this will be over here for many years to come This is fascinating. So this is about vaccination history. And this one here, you can see it, is the very first COVID-19 vaccine, or the Pfizer uh, vaccine, given to somebody outside of the clinical trial. And these are all the different types of vaccines. So we've just finished at the Science Museum. It was pretty cool. Um, some of the exhibits, um, didn't work and obviously there's lots of things that weren't working because of Covid but for a free museum it was a good couple of hours spent. Harry didn't like the medicine section, the uh, very old sort of like older older medicines and things he didn't like it very much. The space section, not the space section, like the flight and space sections were really really cool. Um, definitely worth it, definitely recommend it. Obviously you have to pre-book, there are a few turn up on the day but most of it is pre-book so I just recommend if you come into London then pre-book it and it's obviously all free, they just ask for a donation. Next door is the Natural History Museum, which we aren't doing today, but I believe that's the one with the dinosaurs. And across the road from there is the Victorian Albert Museum. Obviously all of them are free, just make sure you pre-book. Heading down to the tube now to go and get our Sunday dinner and then it's the train after that. Our trip is almost coming to an end, but it's been really, really good. So let's go to the pub which was actually recommended by Mr. David and Mr. Ian. So I'm really excited for my Sunday dinner. So I've got some funny lighting going on here. So I can't remember where I last left you. I think probably the Science Museum. We have just been for 
Didn't you it? look really spooky with that mask on. So we have just been for dinner at a place called Duke of Sussex, which is just around the corner from our um, premiere in, in Southwark. And the meal itself was really nice. I enjoyed mine. Did you enjoy yours? Uh, yeah. yeah. It wasn't the meal that Harry ordered though. So it was super, super, super busy in there. It's been Sunday, half term, Halloween. Apparently there was a group of 20 people upstairs, which then made a knock on effect of the actual pub itself. So the pub we, it took an hour for the food to come, basically. And then after an hour we waited. They then told us that Harry's meal that he ordered wasn't available. He didn't have to tell, tell us when we ordered. He told us last minute. So then Harry had to order something else, which they then had to wait for. So the four of us were eating while Harry had to wait. Obviously, which is not great. Um, the food itself was lovely. Um, the customer service from that point on, obviously they could tell how cross we were and how upset Harry was. They took the drinks off the menu, off the meal bill even, which was obviously great, but I would have just rather Harry had his meal because he was really looking forward to his sausage and mash and Yorkshire pudding, weren't you? Yes. So we are just waiting now for an Uber to take us back to the train station and then we are getting the train home. But we're just at our premier inn because we left the bags here for the evening, for the day. Ooh, even, sorry. So this is our premier inn here. This is the premier inn at Southwark at the Cut, it's called. So the main entrance is here and check in, you can just see it there. So the premier inn is actually split over across two sides. We've got one side there which is linked over to this side of the building here. This is a place called the Bar and Block, which is a steakhouse, but this is also where you get served breakfast in the morning. Uh, the breakfast was really good, um, obviously the kids eat free, so it was only £21 for the four of us to have breakfast. But the um, menu is pretty standard for a Premier Inn, um, and Grad had it here last night, and he really liked it. Oh, sorry. So we are, like I said, just waiting for our Uber to take us back to the train station. So we'll see you in a bit. So we are currently at Heathrow Airport. We have had some major, major drama. But as soon as I can catch my breath, I will let you know. So we are currently at Heathrow Airport as our train has been cancelled up north. All the train lines up north have been cancelled due to a blown down tree. So we have stopped and breathe. We have got a tube to Paddington. From Paddington we've got the Heathrow Express to Heathrow. At Heathrow we are supposed to be picking up a car. If we can't pick up a car. We'll just stay in the Premier Inn overnight tonight. We need to get home for Monday morning so I've got an important hospital appointment in the morning and Emily has got school so we're trying not to miss that. It's mainly the hospital appointment though. So that's what we're trying to do. So I will catch you guys in a bit. So Kido Airport, we have just picked up a hurt tire car and we're going to be going on the road. But I want to go on a plane. David's just checking the car, I'm going to give him a hand. Good morning guys. As you can see if you watched my vlogs before, we're at home, I'm in my kitchen, in my spot in the kitchen by the window where there's a little bit of light. So um, I think we left you yesterday at Heathrow Airport picking up a car. That was a nightmare. Turning up at the train station yesterday, an hour before the train was due to go, to realise that all the trains have been cancelled. I'm yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit across with Avanti West Coast for not informing passengers with pre-booked tickets. They could have sent an email out, they could have sent a message out. We didn't check. Hold my hands up to say that we didn't check, but I'm not sure I'd, I ever would. We didn't look on Twitter because we were too busy having a good time, but an email from them or a message to, to say, due to this, due to the storm damage, there are no trains. People send messages out for GP appointments, for hair appointments. I'm sure the Eventy West Coast have got all our details. They could have sent people with pre booked tickets all that information. So we did a Home Alone style dash, like I said, across um, London. We got the tube from Euston to Paddington. From the Paddington, we picked up the Heathrow Express. 
Now the Heathrow Express last minute is not cheap, so that cost us £75, so £25 for each of us. The kids went free, luckily Emily was still free. Um, if it had been in the summer, then we would have had to pay another £25 for her. Um, we then paid £123 to pick up a car from Hertz. Hertz were great, we eventually managed to do the booking system underground and all that with the loss of internet. Luckily David managed to get a signal, I didn't get a signal. So we managed to get um, a Hertz rent car last minute. Sorry, the car was really good. Um, yeah, it was just a, it's just a basic car and it was absolutely fine. It got us home, it took us about three hours to get home. The weather was atrocious. But a three hour journey from Heathrow to Manchester isn't that bad. We stopped once to get few, to get drinks, but that was it. But we're home and that's the main thing. Emily's got school this morning. I've got a really important appointment that I couldn't have missed and I couldn't have rearranged. So I had to get back for that. They weren't really providing any alternatives for other people. It was just a matter of come back tomorrow and see if we could get on a train tomorrow. Now we were lucky in the fact that we could have just um, between ourselves and Crazy Grandad, we were able to get the train and then pay for a car hire because I know not many people would have been in that same situation as us. Trying to find a hotel last minute in London, the prices would have been astronomical. I just feel for those people that really couldn't have afforded to do what we did and I'm so, so, so grateful that we were able to do it. I am. I'm just utterly grateful and from the bottom of my heart, thank you to Crazy Grandad and David for getting us home. I mean, it was my idea. It was my idea to just get out of London, get to Heathrow and get a car. Crazy Grandad wanted to fly, so we wanted to fly down the next day, which would have been an astronomical price. Um, but we weren't sure if the kids would be able to travel because we didn't have any ID for them. Emily had a bank card, but obviously Harry doesn't have a bank card. Um, I'd have to look into that, whether the kids can travel domestic without any identification. I'd be quite surprised if they can. It's been a long time since David and I worked at the airport um, and things have changed a lot since then. So. I wouldn't like to just book a ticket and then turn up and then not be allowed to travel. But anyway, we are home. The weather is grim. Um, I've checked on the um, Twitter this morning and the Vanti trains are up and running again. So they have worked incredibly hard throughout the night. It wasn't their fault that the, the trains were down. It was due to the, the weather and a power line uh, coming down. A few people were stuck on trains. Um, I feel for them, they were stuck on trains um, for over six hours or more that set off on their journey to either from Manchester or up north to wherever and they were stuck there for hours. I just, I feel for everybody. There was lots of lots of upset and cross people across Twitter last night. But I don't want to end this trip on a sour note like that. We had an awesome, awesome trip to London. Um, it was tiring, very, very tiring. I felt like Sunday was a little bit of a letdown not sure if I'd ever rush back to Man and Two Swords again. The Science Museum was good, but it, I think it needed to be a lot more interactive for the children. It was more like, um, uh, it was more like an art exhibition. Very, very educational from an adult point of view rather than a child point of view, which I think it needs to be a bit more. The Museum is of Science and Industry in Manchester has got lots and lots of interactive points. Fair enough that all of them work, but over the years they have been and they've really got the children involved with us. I think that needs to be a little bit more like that. It was more of a quiet, sustained, like, exhibition museum rather than the science museum that I anticipated. The flight area was brilliant. I was enjoying the medicines area, but um, Harry didn't like that. Um, our evening meal yesterday, all right, so my arm on talking that long. Our evening meal yesterday was really nice, but we, like I said, we did have a few problems with it, but that's a, it was fine. The meal itself was lovely. The service just could have just let it down a little bit. But we had an amazing time in London and I'm not letting these two things sour what happened. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this new vlog series. We finally got to complete our UK road trip. We went full circle. Even by driving home, we actually went properly full circle of the journey we should have got, took home during the summer. Um, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Leave any comments down below. I hope none of you got stuck in the um, train disaster yesterday, or train disaster, train drama yesterday. I do know there was another train crash though, so I'm really hoping that everyone's okay and no one really got seriously hurt. Um, leave some comments down below. Please give us a big thumbs up. It really, really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe for any of our future stuff. See you next time. Bye!